while a crowd of around 55,000 fans sang their hearts out at the National Stadium on the first night of the sold-out Coldplay concerts on Tuesday, January 23rd. A group of 10 volunteers armed with green trash bags waited patiently outside. They were there for a post-concert cleanup effort organized by Stridey, an environmental not-for-profit organization. One of the volunteers is Miss Newtown Shaw, a 58-year-old retiree who calls taking care of the environment her passion. She was there with her husband who is a music fan. Miss Newtown called it a win-win for all as the volunteers get to hear bits from the concert, a chance to make new friends and clean up the environment. Staging their cleanups at mainstream concerts by Coldplay and Taylor Swift is part of an effort to generate more visibility that litter is consistently everywhere, said Mr. Yasser Amin, Chief Officer at Stridey. Tuesday's volunteer cleanup is Stridey's first concert cleanup planned in anticipation of the trash surrounding the vicinity of the event after it ends. Stridey regularly organizes cleanups in urban areas in collaboration with corporations and schools. While other high traffic events, like Formula One and the National Day Parade, typically have cleaners who will clear the surrounding litter once people leave. Mr. Yasser said Tuesday's cleanup was organized as a trial as the group was unsure how the area outside the sports hub would be left after the Coldplay concerts. However, they were aware that many non-ticket holders would come to enjoy the concert outside. When today reached the National Stadium at around 9 p.m., there were over 100 members of the public sitting outside one of the National Stadium gates, some with food and picnic mats. Listening into the ongoing concert The group involved in the cleanup first met at around 8 p.m., sat on foldable chairs and listened to the sounds from outside the stadium. At around 10 p.m., as the concert began to wind down, they took their trash-grabbing tools and trash bags to canvas the area surrounding the sports hub. In a cleanup that lasted over an hour, the group cleared hundreds of cigarettes and collected three kilograms of trash. Stridey has also planned a cleanup for the Coldplay show on Saturday, as well as the upcoming Taylor Swift concerts, which begin March this year. The participants from the post-concert cleanup said that the waste collected only points to larger issues of urban littering in Singapore. Stridey, a portmanteau of stride and tidy, focuses on tackling waste management issues such as littering and has a mobile application where individuals can track their impact when participating in cleanup activities. In Singapore, over 3,700 strides, or cleanup walks, have been logged in the Stridey app since its inception in 2020. This has resulted in over 5,800 kilograms of trash being collected. Usually in Singapore people think cleanups can only happen at beaches, but this is not true, said Mr. Yasser. When we do cleanups at East Coast Park, we start at the car park areas and areas around McDonald's and the playground. By the time we hit the beach, we have bags full of trash, said Mr. Yasser. A cleanup organized by Stridey typically spends one hour and will end with a debrief, where Mr. Yasser will share more about the importance of cleanups and issues related to waste management in Singapore. We want people to realize that doing cleanups is very far from being the solution, this is just plugging a symptom, he said. But no matter what, these are powerful experiences to show people that littering is an issue. Mr. Yasser said that cleanups are the starting point for many to become conscious on the extent of the local littering problem and inculcate more eco-conscious habits, like using sustainable materials. For Stridey's operations and marketing manager, Ms. Vanessa Tan, the cleanups are only one method of combating larger issues in Singapore, such as a significant level of overconsumption and a lack of accountability for how people treat their environment. Instead of just thinking, OK, I'm just going to play here and throw my things here, and ask someone else pick up after me, 
What I really hope is that people do feel that they are part of the community in civil society. And that they should take ownership of where they play, love and should want to protect.